Okay, we're just coming in. Come on, you stay. Ah, goodness. There's chaos in here, too. Knock off your bin. And you need your window open. surgery and so I've got to make sure that she gets her pills. This is Sandy. Sandy's a head butter, aren't you? Yes. Because every time I lean down, that's what she wants to do. She's a good girl. Yeah. Oh, goodness. And this is Bob over here who doesn't look very well. He's on a hunger strike. He's one I got the minute he was born and raised. And the problem with that is they don't get the immunity from their moms. You look worse and worse. You gotta eat. And they're all, all over the place. This is one that was dropped off at my house. He's beautiful and I was getting ready. I was getting him fairly socialized when I had to put him in here because I had kittens to put in the bathroom. And now we're just working on it a bit, aren't we? This is, this is Oliver. But he's very playful and he's probably a year old. Bob, what are you doing? Isn't that silly? Yes. See, that's what they do to the mom cat to get milk. And when he sees me in here, I'm the mom cat. He's <laughs> needing and wanting attention, right? I know, I know, I know. You are losing weight, too. Yeah. No, you can't take that away. <laughs> oh, Bob. No. No, you're not going to take that away. That's his comfort blanket. No, Bob. So, so. Well, <laughs> um, I was a wildlife rehabber for 25 years, and I got somebody else uh, licensed to do it. And I have research. I'm a marine biology person that I'm supposed to be doing, and I thought, well, let's do that, and I was traveling. But people kept bringing me uh, injured cats, sick cats, and I was able to do stomach tubes and fluids and things. And uh, then Paws got a hold of me and wanted me to start trapping cats for them. And I would take them and they'd say, well, you keep them until we have cage space. And I acquired 20 cats that way. They never seemed to take them, and I'm still bargaining with them <laughs> after many years. So I just, there's so many cats out there that um, people leave when they move. Students leave at the end of terms, especially. Uh, almost every student apartment complex has colonies of cats. And a lot of them are very friendly, aren't used to being outside. And I guess I always took in injured, sick animals ever since I was tiny. I was always bringing things home. And, uh, but I've rarely taken in adult cats, but I try to help people. I, I get calls at least two or three a day of people that are moving or need to get rid of their cats, and uh, it's very upsetting. I, 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 you know, people don't take the responsibility that they should. You get off of there. That's one who pees on my table. <laughs> and I can't even touch him. Get off! Yes. That was bad. This is Pip, who I raised from day one. Her mom had no milk. And there's Silver and Molly. Molly is supposed to be adopted, but she likes, she doesn't want to be. She wants to be here. <laughs> if I don't have any help, it, about four or five hours in the morning 
and then, then I may have an hour or two off, and then at night uh, it's a little shorter. I was getting to bed at 4 or 4.30 a.m., and now it's about 1 or 2 a.m. I'm getting better at it. <laughs> now what time do you get up? 8 or 9, oh. depending on how late. Uh, so I, I don't get enough sleep. Oh. <laughs> I started lessons probably in kindergarten, and uh, I remember when I was in kindergarten, or first grade, I played some Bach pieces in front of an enormous audience. Like, it probably wasn't that enormous, but at that time, and that was just a big thrill. And um, I would always come home in kindergarten playing the pieces that we learned there on the piano. And my dad started noting what keys they were in, and I was always consistent. So he knew I had perfect pitch long before I did. But uh, I, I do accompany students uh, all ages on the piano. You remember when you accompanied me on my yeah, tuba? That's right, I did. <laughs> performers love to perform because I wasn't scared at all and I just breezed through it. Uh, several people have played it with the orchestra since and made a lot of mistakes and I knew it. <laughs> but it would take me quite a while to work it up again but um, I really had it down. Someday maybe if I get rid of cats and live long enough. <laughs> so, okay.